What is up guys, Grantham Mouse 105 here. Welcome back to LA Nowhere. We are continuing uh, for a part two of of the driver's seat. So we're gonna continue where we left off before, pulling out of the parking lot. Hill, couple blocks north of Central Station. Okay, so we were headed towards the black residence as I remember. Let's go. Let me position the camera a bit, tad bit, right there. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make black drive somewhere lonely, then give the tap. But the car. Well, obviously, someone got a little heavy handed. It's the wrong way around. How so, genius? Where is he? He's gone to all the trouble to steal the car, and it goes wrong. You leave the body behind. Okay, let's go. Let's move. Okay, we're moving in. We're moving in. Come on. Faster, faster. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Okay. Quick turn here. Oh, Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and... Oh, real. Got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil. The Southern Pacific freight slammed into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. We've got plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity here to traffic folks. Who needs a second amendment? We'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile. He's right. I mean, honestly. If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Three lessons, does. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels stinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. Okay, we're almost there, I think. Yep, right up here. Make a quick dart over this way. And here we are. We're at the house. Black residence. Okay, let's go. Let's go introduce ourselves. I'm not good at this shoulder to cry and stuff. So this must be Mrs. Black. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? Yep. We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? Oh, man, here it comes. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we just had a new water heater installed. Huh, we might have to check that. What about Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. At the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Okay. So, before we go check the water okay, heater, we need out. to take a look around in the house itself. Have a look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Hey, what's this? Looks like a train ticket. Yeah, that's what it is. Train ticket. We've got that to go on. Wait a minute. 
Hold it. Wait a minute. To my Adrian. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Hurry back, my darling. Huh. Okay. Well, that's something I didn't notice beforehand. That might uh, come in handy. You just never know. Okay, so this must be Mrs. Black's uh, room. Okay. Let's check this. There's nothing with, uh, uh, with this picture. There's nothing up with this picture. Okay, so... That's a clear check. Let's head into the kitchen here. Uh, hold it. Aha! What's this? Uh, Kavanaugh's. Kavanaugh's bar. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Arnold, I should have an address. Okay. Let's check this out. What? What is this? Insta heat. This is only recently installed. Not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Well, first we gotta call R and I and get the location of uh, Kavanaugh's bar. Then we'll move outside and check uh, the out the heater. Where's the phone? Okay, here it is. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Belt one two four seven. Okay, so now we've got the location. Let's go outside and check the, uh, check out the heater. It should shouldn't it be? Ah, yeah, here it is. Sun finished. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, let's put it together piece by piece. Okay. Take this. I uh, reckon that goes here. Yep. And this, it's going to go over here, of course. What? No. Oh, all the way over. Okay, there. And finally, this right here. Huh. Okay. So we now know that uh, the pipe uh, that uh, apparently was used to kill Adrian was uh, uh, was straight from the heater. Okay, let's head back inside and uh, see if we uh, see what we can't get out of Mrs. Black. Okay, talk. Advice. Make sure you cover all the rooms. We don't want to miss anything. Okay. Now. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. The receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Okay. What makes you say that about Morgan, man? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he distance from the staff. They're always out doing things together. Oh, uh, okay. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. Well, there's a tell. It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Uh, I'm going to use intuition here. I'm not so sure. Okay, we can't say she's lying, so truth. What was the purpose of Adrian's trip to Seattle, Mrs. Black? He was meeting with some distributors. Adrian said that it was important to make contact interstate if he was going to grow his business. Okay, so there's that. 
Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? Always said what he was going to meet me, right? Okay. But nothing out of the usual. Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Huh. <laughs> Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian packs the list there after work. That's the bar. Well, Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot of business. Okay. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? No, 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 no. We're not accusing you. Hey, we're not accusing you, woman. I was here all night, of course. We're not accusing you. Waiting for Adrian to come home. Okay. I'm going Is true. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. Huh. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Okay, let's go. I think it's about time we checked out Kavanaugh's bar. Ooh, I just noticed how far uh, we've gone through on this part. Ah, we'll have to do a part three then. Well, guys, I do hope you enjoyed part two. And part three is coming soon. Be a master, stay a master, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, maybe here in a little bit on part three. I don't know. Just, yeah. Good night, everybody.